Thank you very much. Uh, my name is uh, Kenneth Mwans. I'm, I'm, I'm going to demonstrate uh, to you um, a piece of uh, machine here. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's operated by by a PIC, PIC 16F690. You can see it's seated right there. And this is the electrical interface that actually um, makes the PIC communicate with the electrical devices that are on this prototype. Um, uh, this is a prototype that has got, as you can see, it's got conveyor belts. Okay. It's got conveyor belts and also it's got a timetable here and also a conveyor belt the other side. Actually, it's used, okay. it's used to uh, convey uh, work pieces or objects from one point to another and as the objects are moving on the conveyor belts, they are checked by um, from point to point okay this project we uh, i started it with with a colleague uh, about two months ago but for 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 unknown reasons my my colleague but also i was all out alone and actually it succeeded so i'll uh, briefly explain how this works and i'll use this uh, side cut as a metal it will represent um, an object all right We've got the roller line here, and mm -hmm. uh, we've got the sensors. Just, just stop it. Okay. 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 We've got the roller line here, and then we've got the conveyor belt here. And what you're seeing there is a switch, and this is the turntable and the switch also. You're seeing another conveyor belt there as a switch, and the master control switch there, and the switch at the end here. So when an object comes in here, the sensor here picks it up. When it picks it up, the motor starts moving. So the conveyor belt will only stop if the object actually comes across the switch for a checkpoint. Say, for example, control purposes when um, they are packaging um, materials. So when the object comes there, it stops for a while. It is timed conveniently for it to be checked. Then the belt will start running again for it to be actually picked by the, the turntable. Okay, I've got it running there, and it stops there, and after some time it starts, the turntable actually will receive the parcel onto it, and when it comes to the sensor, the belt will stop, and then it will turn, forwarding it into that direction. Okay, actually, and we got it going like that, and we go, should be able to continue in that direction. So the weight piece actually moves from the tent table through that angle onto the next belt. And on the next belt we've got switches that will have to stop the work piece for inspection, so, so to speak. Mm. So if you have the object coming through here, you see the belt stopping for a timed uh, a period of, uh, I mean, moment. And then after inspection, the for, for the work piece to go through, we've got an operator here. The idea of having an operator here is because you see there's a dead end here. You need a loading bay. You need another piece to pick it up, the, to pick up the object. So the, the operator here must ensure that there is no object standing here for him to, <coughs> for him or her to, to, to press the button there, and then the workpiece moves forward. And the last point is the switch that you see there, where the workpiece will stop and be picked for further processing or transportation, so to speak. So Immediately the workplace stops there, you see the turntable flashing, getting back to the original position mm -hmm. in readiness to receive another workplace. Okay, there you go. And it turns back to, to the original position. Okay.